Okay. In this demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the open mortise member shape. It's this one here in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, in this particular situation, you're going to want to sketch this in the top view of the shape, and then you can extrude it for a height of two inches. So this shape is still six inches long. So I'm going to be drawing a line that is six inches long, horizontal, and then I'm going to go up one inch. I'm going to go to the left for two inches, up one inch, to the right for two inches, up one, back over six, and then meet myself back down into the origin. So now I have gone to create a new document, and I named it Open Mortise Member. I'm going to hit OK. Now once the workspace does show up, the first thing you always need to do is to start a new sketch. And I'm going to choose the top view for that sketch. Notice the sketch window shows up here over the top. And I'm going to now change my viewing of this to the top view so I can look down on it like a flat piece of paper. So now I'm going to start with my line tool in the origin where the X and Y come together. One click to start, move into the direction, a second click, and immediately type in the distance of six inches. So now I'm going to go up for one inch, I'll travel to the left, click, and that's two inches. I'm going to go up for one inch, back to the right, up one inch. I'm going to go over here to the left until I line up with my origin, click here, and back into the origin here. Notice it shades itself in gray, indicating that it is an enclosed shape. I'm going to change my camera back to the isometric, and now I'm going to head over to my extrude tool. I'm going to extrude this, not at a depth of one inch, but a depth of two inches. Hit enter, and then hit the green check mark. And there is your open mortise member.